Shalom Alaikum. Today is Ram Shabbat Welcome to BBS, Bayatim Broadcast Services. Before I go any further, I want to give our praise to the Most High, Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shai, pre and post incarnate into human flesh, and the Father of Abraham, the Father of Isaac, and the Father of Jacob, of the children of the twelve patriarchs, the children of Israel. Um, J. Electronica, um, if y'all seen my videos from the past, um, I was pretty critical of her brother because, um, you know, he did, he did a song called Ghost of Soldier Slim. And I felt that he, he should, if, if he was going to do a song about Soldier Slim, uh, paying homage to Soldier Slim, which ain't nothing wrong with that, by the way, because he, he's, he's one of the greatest that we ever seen. I, th I felt that he should have did it with Brothers Man, who was very, very tight with Soldier Slim. You know, like Chaotic and things like that. Uh, Magnolia Levy, Juvenile. Uh, but 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 uh, you know, like I said, I, ne I never said I, I never said I didn't like the brother. You understand? He's one of the greatest spitters that that you understand I ever seen. You know, and as a New Orleanian, you understand it. You know, uh, I, I guess in a sense, I don't want to use the word proud because I know the word I know what the word proud means in the Hebrew. You understand? Proud deals with arrogance, but I'm talking about a different kind of proud. So I am proud to say that you know you know that this brother is from my hometown, New Orleans. You understand? Uh, Cause a brother really can spit. And if Jay Electronica, Jay Electronica, if you're watching this video, man, I think you're better. I think you're better spitter than Jay Z. That's just me. You understand? Uh, I think you're selling yourself short. That's just me. I think I think you're a better spitter. I think I think uh, your content is more profound um, with, with your music, bro. Um, but you know, you know, you know, like I said, it's, it's not about that. You know, this is really about. You know, uh, J. Electronica's latest, uh, um, latest posts uh, about calling out the Jewish people as fake Jews, in which they really are. Uh, in that same song, Ghost of the Slim, by the way, uh, he uh, re referred to uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9, and also the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9, where it says... Uh, you know, uh, I know thy tribulation, and I know thy poverty, but thou art rich. And I know there are those that say that they are Jews, but they are not, but they are synagogue of Satan. So you're referring to the Khazar Edomites today. You understand? Um, some people say that 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 the Jephthah Ashkenazi. That's fine. You understand? I ain't, I ain't here to debate that. Um, but uh, these people are counterfeit Israelites and Henry Ford did a book back in uh, 1923 uh, to where he did some thorough research and came to a conclusion and there was, this was this was seven, nine, seven years ago almost 100 years ago uh, come three years later from today um, he saw that uh, he concluded that the, the, the Jews the Jewish people I said the Jews are the Jewish people uh, as in the suffix ish deals with that which is pertaining to, you understand? Uh, 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 it, it basically deal, it deals with something that's pretentious. That's what the suffix ish deals with, pretentious. Something that's pre pretending to be something, but you're actually not. You're actually like a carbon copy or something. You know, you're a fake duplicate. You're a counterfeit duplicate. So um, Henry Ford, you know, a Ford vehicle, he concluded in his book in 1923 that these Khazars are not the real Israelites. You understand? So um I just wanna say salute to the brother um J Electronica. Like I said, I know I know, you know, um I had my issues in the past as far as that song, uh, because Jay Z is a Freemason, you understand? Um and, and you know he he's also invested uh in some kind of uh, some 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 kind of device that that, that keeps in tracks of uh released prisoners. You understand, and stuff like that. You know, is 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 you know the device is almost kind of like, almost some kind of like a uh, some kind of like a chip or something like that. But it really isn't. You understand, for those in house arrest, they they keep in tabs of their whereabouts. That's slavery, and that's what Jay Z invested invest in. He invested in a GPS monitoring um platform uh, made by uh, I, I think I, I think. Uh, a black woman either she founded it or co-founded it and it's called Promise. 
You understand? So they're keeping they're keeping tabs of the prisoner's whereabouts, the prisoner's whereabouts. Um, and I think uh, he invested about three million dollars into the platform or something like that. I forgot. But 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 Jay Z is definitely not for black people. You dig? So uh, like I said, that's another topic. You understand? But but this is not to to condemn the brother. This is actually you know to to salute to the brother Jay Electronica uh, for for for. It is, a, it is a courageous move on his part, you understand? But I guess for future references, they, 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 may, they may try to uh, take preventative action of his forward progression with this music, you understand? Because he, uh, you know, uh, showing bravery by going against Abraham Cooper, who is a coward, by the way, you understand? And being a tail bearer and buried, and buried in fab fabricated and fraudulent accounts, you understand, in regards to our true history. You know, so that's why I call uh, those group of people the devil, because the word devil does mean liar and deceiver, a, a, a tale bearer, a bearer of false witness, and a bearer of fabricated and fortunate accounts. So, um, you know, he, he did the right thing by calling him a coward and a devil. He is, you understand? Uh, so so they can get how they live, you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, I, you know, uh, part of me want to give Nick Cannon the benefit of the doubt. You understand? Uh, maybe, maybe he's saying all this stuff, uh, talking about, you know, uh, the Jewish culture. Uh, you know, I'm donating to the Jewish culture. Maybe just doing that, man, so he can get in good with Viacom. You understand? Which is still a big risk because, you know, he, he may not ever, ever get in good with Viacom again or with anybody at, at that. I think he's still with Fox, with the mass singing and all that stuff. But but hell, that relationship might be rocky because uh, Rupert, Rupert Murdoch is a is a Khazar, if I'm not mistaken. I think he is a Khazar. You understand? So uh, so once again, uh, salute to the brother um, G Electronica. You know, um, for you know, man, making such a bold move. You dig? It does say in the book of um, Proverbs chapter twenty eight verse one. It says, uh, the wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous abode is a lion. You understand? So, um, so that, that's, that, that, that's a bold move on his part, man. Salute to you for that, bro. You understand? From one end old brother to another. Um, you know, like I said, in past tense, I never implied that I hate this brother. You understand? Uh, so, so for, so for y'all fanboys out there, you understand? For y'all G-Electronica fanboys out there, don't think that this, this was me soldiering my brother because I always thought the brother was an excellent spitter, even though you know I really didn't get I really didn't get to know who he was until earlier this year. You understand because he'd been such under the radar man for the past ten years. You understand I seen the name circling before, but I never took interest in who the brother was. Uh, but now I'm taking interest, man, and you know it's kind of growing on me. You understand, especially when it comes to knowledge. Now, I'm no fan of Farrakhan. You know, I'm no fan of Farrakhan like I used to, man. But um, but 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 you know, Farrakhan, you know, did say some real stuff in the past, and I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Farrakhan was one of the first guys that uh that I encounter, not in person, but encounter as far as watching stuff on YouTube and whatnot. Um, to to where he says that blacks are the real Jews. Yes, this was in 2006. The seed was planted in 2006, but I didn't. I wasn't uh, completely born again as a Hebrew Israelite until 2008. Uh, I heard Malik Zul Shabazz um, refer to as Hebrew Israelites. Um, matter of fact, if you go to my previous video by Nick Cannon and Ice Cube and Kareem Jabbar, I said um, I think I mentioned that Malik Zul Shabazz, um, Cornell X, Hakeem and Zinga, Hashim and Zinga, and Farrakhan, uh, those guys. Um, they would be on Fox News, whether it's Hannity and Combs or Raleigh Factor or whatnot, uh, other media platforms, and they would say that blacks are the real Jews. You understand? Um, like I said in my previous video, um, I was given a newspaper called The Final Call back in 2006, and Farrakhan was saying how blacks are the real Israelites. But, you know, at, at the same time, I'm like, these guys are Muslims. I don't make subscriptions to Islam. So, so it's kind of, it's kind of hard for me to take what they're saying, you know, all the way seriously, you understand? Because there's some things I just don't subscribe to Islam. Um, but the seed was definitely planted in 2006, but I didn't come fully come around until 2008. 
You understand when 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 you know I actually encountered a real Hebrew Israelite, like fully commissioned uh, to the Most High um, by a kid named Obadiah Israel. You understand from Chicago. You dig so um, so once again. You know I can't I, I can't I can't I can't salute the brother enough. It was a bold move by G Electronic Command. Um, I don't know if the I don't, I don't know if the media is going to attack him in the same way they attacked Nick Cannon because Nick Cannon have great uh, have have great uh, how shall I put it uh, public uh, 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 credibility. Uh, many people know who he is. They know him as uh, Devin. I think Devin Miles uh, from Drumline. Um, they they know they they know him. Um, of course, Wilding Out MTV's Wilding Out. Um, What's the, what's the, uh, uh, Elvin, I think that's the cat name, Elvin from, um, Love Don't Cost a Thing. People know this cat, but people don't know G Electronica too much. You understand? But, you know, he, he's, he, he's building momentum, man. And that's a good thing. So I think the, the more that is, it disseminates in public that black people are the true Hebrew or the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, the more of our people is going to take interest in, in people who are not our people who are just sojourners. You understand? They're going to take interest to see if it holds up. A good amount of people is going to say no, but there's also going to be a, a, a growing amount of people that's going to say yay. So, as I said, 2017, and you can check out my video about this on Empowering Preeminence. I did a video about how Islam and, and Christianity took over, started to take over uh, the black household as religion in the 1960s. In the 2020s, you're going to see the same thing with the Hebrews like, as a nation of people and how that's going to become a household name. And, um, we, you know, we kind of seeing that emotion right now. The name Hebrew Israelite, true Jews, true Israelite, black Jews, black Hebrews, whatever you want to call it, it's starting to become a household name. You dig? And I give all praises, all credits, and all acclamations to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You understand? So, um, so J Electronica, man, keep, keep, keep pushing that truth, bro. Um, your, your platform may, may not be big yet, man, but like I said, it's starting to take precedence, bro, and that's a good thing. You understand? So, um, so salute to you as far as that concern, bro. Uh, keep pushing this truth. Keep pushing this knowledge, man. Uh, in regards to us being Hebrew Israelites, of course. Um, keep keep doing Revelation two and nine, Revelation three and nine, at them, bro, because we we know that they become livid when when we uh, project scriptures towards them, because it does speaks it, it is speaking directly towards them. So. Um, so yeah, man, um all praise to the most high for that, bro. Um and that's all I want to say on that, man. Look, uh y'all hit that like button, y'all hit that share button, y'all hit the subscribe button. Once again, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, you dig. Uh this Sharama shot a minute, you heard me. And uh y'all stay y'all stay tuned, man, for more fire content from BBS. Also subscribe to Celestial and Service and Multimedia Communications, but that's my second platform. And of course, my third Hebrew is like platform, Empowering and Preeminence Multimedia Productions. For that, bro, that's all I got to say. Y'all keep it real, you heard me. Keep it trill, you dig. And I'm out. Shalom. Peace.